After completing one month in my dropshipping journey, these are the top three things that I have learned that I feel like more people need to know and hopefully you can take some value out of it as well. This first one I feel like should be talked about a lot more. And before I actually got started in building out the product page on Shopify and getting started in my dropshipping journey, I watched a lot of YouTube videos, I read a bunch of articles, and I never really came across a lot of people talking about this. And that is AOV, the average order value. This is extremely important because in order to be successful as a dropshipper, you need to increase your margins as much as possible because we already know that the margins are really thin when it comes to drop shipping. So whenever you get the chance to, you need to increase those margins as much as possible. And that comes with increasing your average order value. Now, this is extremely important because you're basically increasing the amount of money that each customer you get is valued at. Now, this can be done in multiple ways. Now, of course, you can do upsells. So if you have a secondary or even a third product that is complementary to the primary product, this is a great way to get additional sales on a Shopify store and to increase that AOV. Now, of course, one of the other popular strategies out there is bundling. So if you're selling a product that is popular enough that you can sell two for a slightly discounted price, then this is something that's extremely popular and I encourage you to do so. It increases your average order value. Think about it this way. If you are aiming for a certain goal, a financial goal, let's say for example, it's $1,000 or $10,000, whatever it is, if you're aiming for that number, you are going to need a lot less customers to reach that financial goal if each customer is worth more to you. Now, if you don't do upsells and you don't do anything to increase your AOV, you are going to need a lot more customers to reach that financial goal. So whenever you can implement those strategies, whatever it needs to be. And I'll create a separate video later on on different uh, strategies to increase this, whether it's upsells, uh, bundling, or even doing email marketing strategies to bring back abandoned carts. I'll create a video about that. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that video. Now, the second lesson that I have learned when it comes to um, dropshipping is that generating traffic through PPC ads, whether that's on TikTok, Facebook, Snapchat, Pinterest, whatever it is, it is a different skill that you need to practice and eventually master in order to get good at dropshipping if you want to scale this business model. Now, the reason why I say it's a different skill is because I often see a bunch of people talk about dropshipping and they really focus on doing product research or they focus on the different structure of their funnel or the product page, or maybe even finding suppliers. And that's fine, those things are important. But if you plan on running PPC ads, and now the more popular one is TikTok, if you plan on running these ads, you need to learn what makes a good ad, what makes ads convert, and what key metrics you need to keep your eye on to see if an ad is a winner or if it's a dud, a to end it. For example, in the TikTok ad campaign that we recently ran, we averaged a CPC cost of $1. Now, CPC stands for cost per click. That means that for each dollar that we spent, we generated about one click. Now, there are situations where a $1 CPC is not bad. Um, if you have high enough margins, if you get enough profit from selling that product out to a customer, then it can be a pretty good thing because if you spend $1 and you get, let's say, for example, $5 back, then there is profit. Now, in our situation, we are going to be trying different strategies to decrease our CPC cost. And the strategies that we're going to be trying is we're going to be using different ad creatives. We are going to be testing out copywriting like call to actions and headers at the beginning of these videos. And basically, we want to increase our CTR, our click the ratio, while decreasing our CPC, our cost per click. So all these different acronyms and all these different nuances and strategies are extremely important that if you are going to be doing PPC ads, you need to learn this stuff because as a successful dropshipper, it's an important skill to have. And this third one is probably the most important one. And again, for whatever reason, I don't see enough people talking about it. And that is being connected directly to the suppliers instead of having to go through a directory like CJ Dropshipping or Zendrop or AliExpress. Now, these directories are a great starting point. They are things that we started with. But at the end of the day, if you want to lock in on your buy cost and if you want to get the best margins possible, you need to reach out to these suppliers and develop a relationship with them. A great way to get started with these relationships is even using the directories and contacting them through there. But at the end of the day, you want to be able to do business with these suppliers outside of these directories like CJ Dropshipping and Zendrop. One of the things that we're going to be doing with that is that we plan on going to the trade show ASD Market Week in Las Vegas at the beginning of March because there's going to be a bunch of people out there, manufacturers, distributors, and overall just suppliers that we can connect with directly, build a relationship with, and that way we can do dropshipping with them without having having to go through a middleman that takes fees and decreases our margins, 
like CJ drop shipping and Zen drop. This one is extremely important and there are a couple of videos out there on YouTube. I encourage you to check those out because they are extremely helpful and they are going to be adding longevity to your drop shipping business. So those are the top three lessons that I have learned in my first month. First one being is increasing your AOV. Second one being is that being good at PPC ads is an entirely different skill and something that you should be focused on. The third one being is that you want to get connected to these suppliers directly. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to be making a separate video on different strategies on how to increase your AOV, different strategies that I've learned for TikTok ads specifically, and the different things um, that we're going to be doing at ASD. So hopefully when that day comes, we'll be able to make a lot of content for you. You'll find some content on my page, some on Ed's page, and of course on our Discord. If you want to get connected with a community of people who are doing dropshipping, there's going to be a link to our Discord group um, down in the description. Make sure to get connected there. We are all a bunch of students. We're all learning and we hope to uh, learn with you as well. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Take care.